Welcome along then to the place where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner. And it's the place, a year later, that Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only Drivers' Championship. It's into Lagos, and it's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. We're racing today then at Interlagos, a historic 2.7 mile circuit and one of the few anti-clockwise tracks on the calendar. 15 corners in total, nine to the left and six to the right, with a technical middle section opening up to a flat out sector three. And that gives us our best passing opportunity down into turn one. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Now, I want to talk to you about Valtteri Bottas. They've had a fantastic campaign. It's been a wonderful year, and they come into this weekend's Grand Prix as a fully deserving champion. It really is well deserved. I wouldn't say it's been a faultless title challenge, but certainly one that has been consistent and well managed. Here's hoping they let off a bit of steam today and give us an exciting race. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Gasly, Carlos Sainz, and Norris, Perez, the owner driver, Russell, and Kevin Magnussen, Fiat, Bottas, Esteban Ocon, and Albon, Stroll, Ricardo, Nobuharu Matsushita, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi, Grosjean, Delatraz, and Nick de Vries. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today?
device is being enabled this lap, we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. Take button and have a go. Release, release. 
That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. You've lost some time to the car behind. Start for that one. Congratulations. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team would be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard as well, especially going into the corners, which allowed for some late braking and some exciting passes. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? That's got to be the Flying Finn. Wait, how many Flying Fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed. 
and a good job in traffic as well. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one.